This is the end. This is the end. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. Actually, it's just the beginning um, of the Aqua trailer, guys. Welcome to another video, Western Sharpies RC. Got all the panels printed up here. Um, this one here I started making and uh, made a few mistakes on it. Nothing too serious, but um, went ahead and uh, redesigned um, the panels for the walls and then uh, the stairs as well here. You can see this was the, uh, the first one that I made uh, out of styrene and uh, I just decided um, I can't be making them out of styrene if I'm going to be selling this stuff. So I designed a little set of stairs here, but the problem is they're facing the wrong way. They're supposed to face this way. So um, I got to go ahead and reprint these. But anyways, you can kind of see the door opens up like that and then you get in because if you go this way here, you walk up the stairs, you got the door in your way. So anyway, that's kind of what it's going to look like. Got a little AC unit and um, the little bracket there. So I've been working on some stuff for the interior as well. I've got some little baseboard heaters. Uh, you might want to throw these on. I'll, I'll offer them. I don't know yet how they're going to go, but something like that. A lot of these uh, trailers get broken into, so there's always uh, bars and stuff like that over the windows. Uh, turn that down a little bit. Um, Designed a little floodlight here. Not sure if I'm gonna use it or not. It's a little big, but uh, I'm just kind of fooling around right now. So uh, I do want it to have light. Uh, a lot of work to do, but it's coming along really good. This one here, like I said, it's got a few little mistakes, so I'll probably just flog it off to somebody who, who still has some use for it. I mean, it's still really nice, but anyway. Uh, I just wanted to include a lot of the footage. I know it's a lot of yammering and stuff like that, but I, I figure there are going to be some people maybe buying these uh, panels and trying to put it together so they might want to reference these videos. Um, so anyway, something really cool I just came up with. So I glued the panels together. There's, there's six pieces, uh, two to make up the sides and then uh, two for the ends. One has the, the little hole for the AC and the other one's just solid. So. What I've done was, I picked this stuff up from the dollar store and uh, I just wanted to show you how cool it's turning out because it's like, um, here I'll just show you the label, uh, drawer uh, liner, I mean a buck twenty-five for a whole roll, you can't go wrong and it, uh, it works really good so um, let's see here. I would assume everybody would want to cover this stuff up uh, with some wallpaper or paint or whatever because I mean some of the panels for whatever reason you know they uh, they get a little cancerous uh, the first couple layers on the print bed I don't know why but anyway this this here covers it all so what I've done was um, I put this stuff on there and I went vertical with the uh, the green so um, it's gonna look really nice um, as an interior so yeah, basically just glue the panels together for the sides and then you might need to do a little bit of sanding and then you go like that, laminate your, or, or uh, stick the stuff on there and then cut, cut out um, the excess and the uh, holes for the windows. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll show you guys what it looks like and then uh, we'll see where we're at. All right guys, so the wallpaper is all done. Um, 
I still got body work to do and uh, paint for the outside, but it's a good idea to do this, I would think, um, before you do all that. That way you can get right in there. You know, you can work those little bubbles out. That looks really nice, I would say, for the inside. And then once you start putting your little, your little details on there, check this thing out. It's a little exit sign. Um, I got it from Thingiverse, and it looks like it's been designed to house a little, uh, a little LED. But uh, I just went and added some red paper to the inside there instead of illuminating it. But anyway, that still looks pretty good, I, I think. Up there, and then I got a, what else do I got here? I got a little, a little breaker box panel. And then, uh, of course, maybe a little baseboard heater or something somewhere, so. And lots of little uh, details still. There's gonna be some artwork on the walls. I'm gonna print up some window frames. I'm gonna actually put some, some windows in there, the door. Um, I mean, just a ton of stuff. But anyway, I just wanted to stop, make this video, uh, should you choose to wallpaper the inside of your trailer. Uh, hopefully this helps out. So I'll put it all together, I'll get it all painted up and then kind of looking like that. And then uh, we'll continue on. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.